What's up guys? Welcome back to Star Citizen The Verse and the channel and a brand new Zero to Hero series for 3.22 and this time, just for a change, I am in Orizon. Uh, I don't very often start here just because, uh, I mean it is beautiful, it's absolutely stunning, I love it, but uh, it just takes so long to get in and out of the city to be honest. But I felt like a change of scenery and um, I do love these apartments, look how awesome they are. Absolutely love it. Looks incredible. Um, so yeah, we're back. And uh, I'm going to go and get the Mighty Mustang Alpha. And I have got something I want to try out if this door opens. Come on. Let me out. Am I being poisoned? Look, there's something coming out of the air filtration. Oh boy. And the door won't open. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. Look at these views, guys. Oh my god. Don't you just love this game? It's, it is amazing. I never ever get like sick of the sight of the things on this game. Um, like I said, I guess I don't visit Horizon that much, so yeah, when I do come here, I'm always blown away by it a little bit. God, it's cool. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm on the way to get the Mustang Alpha. I've got a little idea I want to try out. Um, so while I'm heading over there, I will uh, explain a little bit. I've been trying to think... Uh, oh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, by the way, guys. Um, well, Christmas is gone. It's actually New Year's Eve as I record this. Uh, got a random day off work and decided uh, I'd make the most of it and get a video recorded. Oh, my God. Even this hotel's cool, isn't it? I just love it. I've been putting off starting the series for 3.22 because I didn't really know where to start this time. Now, there's lots of ways you can start in Star Citizen guys, oh my god look at it, um, <laughs> this is so distracting, um, yeah there's loads of ways you can start in Star Citizen, there's like efficient ways you can start if your whole goal is to get loads of money as quickly as possible, there's you know whatever your preferred gameplay loop is so if you just want to be a bounty hunter then obviously you can jump straight into bounty hunting especially if you start off with a um, Mustang Alpha. Um, if you just want to try a few different things out and get a feel of the game, you can do that. You can do different missions. You can try a bit of uh, the uh, delivery missions. Delivery missions ain't great. They used to be all a good way of starting, but uh, they are good. If you're a brand new player, they are good because they do familiarise you with the controls of the game, how to get around in the verse. You get to see a few different places. They're good for that, really. More than anything, that's what they're good for. Um, you've got like investigation type stuff. You know, there's all sorts of things you can you can go off and do that aren't as efficient as if you just want to like smash your way into the game and just make loads and loads of money. The whole point of what I'm doing here is one, just showing you you don't need to spend loads of money in the pledge store. You can just start with the bog standard entry packages like the Mustang Alpha and the Aurora, um, and your starting cash although as normal I've put my alpha UEC down to zero just to show you that you don't even need any cash to get started so start making money and have fun in the verse um, and uh, yeah so like I, I try to show you different ways of doing things in the game as well as enjoying it and playing on an account that I don't have any pledged ships on um, having said that I normally start the same way because my gameplay preferences are headed uh, of sort of aimed around uh, FPS style gameplay so I love bunker missions I do enjoy doing bounty hunting um, so you know using fighter ships doing bounty missions that kind of stuff PV or PvP uh, bounties I don't really mind I, I enjoy all of it uh, and industrial stuff these days, you know, typically the, the big money maker right now is salvaging. Uh, in the past, it's been mining. They're two things... Mining I fall in and out of love with. I Sometimes I really genuinely love doing it, and I can't wait to just go and stick some music on and go and mine myself a load of uh, ore and make some money that way. And other times I just can't bother. It's like quite boring and slow sometimes, but it's more of a mood thing for me. But that they're... That's one of my gameplay loops I genuinely head towards. On top of that, trading. I love space trucking. That's my my big thing, my favourite thing to do. 
when it's all working right and it's um uh, what's going on here oh i didn't click the thing <laughs> when it's all working properly and there's not loads of people doing it because right now so many people are trading mostly gold and if you go and do gold you can't really unless you log on at certain times it's quite difficult to um seamlessly trade if you see what i mean like you, you spend a lot of time waiting for things to restock or become available to sell um so yeah obviously when i'm playing they're the sort of things my gameplay ends up heading towards um and getting back on track uh, in previous series what i've done is normally and annoyingly it's what i'm about to do is go and do a bunker mission now like I said, I enjoy doing bunker missions for one thing. It's also good because uh, when you're oh, that's the wrong way. When you're um, starting off and you've got nothing, you've just got your normal starting undersuit here that you can see, and you've got no armor or nothing like that. A bunker's a good way to go and get yourself some gear and uh, have a few things stored away for future when you might need some armor, some weapons, that kind of stuff. Also, you can make fast money off of it. When I say fast money, I don't mean lots of money. I mean you can quickly go and get yourself, I don't know, 15, 20 grand for doing a mission, just for doing the mission. That's before you even sell anything, right? So it's a good little entry into getting yourself some pocket money, if nothing else, on top of getting your freebies. Hangar 7, okay. Um, and what I want to try right now is because the Mustang Alpha, it's always had the capability to carry stuff, but for a long, long time you couldn't access the cargo rack on the back, and I'll show you what I mean when we get down to the ship. So here is the Mighty Mustang Alpha, and this has always been here, this uh, rack, for as long as I've been playing, for five or six years or whatever and definitely longer than that I'm pretty sure uh, you can drop this little rack down but you couldn't ever do anything with it but now you can open it and um, I showed in the last series you know you can literally get inside it and when you're inside there you can access the ship's inventory which is um, 6,000 SCU so it's, it's not a lot but it is something, and I just wondered how much money can you make if you fill that up with gear out of a bunker? Because in a bunker you can find all sorts. You can find rail guns, which are worth quite a lot of money. I think they're 25, 30,000 for each one you find. Um, armors a fair bit of money. You can find like rare arms, which are worth a bit more, I believe. So point is, you can make money off of your loot. And I'm wondering, if we fill this up, how much money will I make on top of doing a mission? So that is how I'm going to kickstart the the series, just purely because I want to experiment with this. And I've never done it. I don't. I genuinely don't know. I've not Googled it. I've no idea um, if this is going to make me a nice chunk of change. And also, I don't know if the <laughs> if the cargo bay is going to bug out. I don't know what's going to happen. I think it works properly. I'm pretty sure it works properly now. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and go and check out. So if you don't know, mercenary missions is where you find the bunker missions. Always take a call to arms. It gives you extra money for shooting bad guys. Okay, so this is a assessment for Crusader security, and it is in a bunker, and there will be friendlies in there. So I have to be careful who I shoot. Got to make sure I don't shoot any security force people. Uh, but in here we will find bad guys with some armor on we will also find loot boxes that we can loot and uh, just for doing the mission we're gonna get 15k so that'll be our first bit of money in the bag let's get going Ooh. Old, uh, I don't know if it's my system or what but the clouds always look a bit funny here when you, you leave I don't know if it's just me or not looks incredible but that always just just a little gripe I got there it looks a bit fuzzy doesn't it I don't know what that is or how to fix it but there is Orison if you've not seen it when you're leaving. The city in the clouds. Anyway, let's get on with it. Alright, here we go. Over at Daymar. Ready to find this bunker. Now, I forgot to mention before I left. Um, all I've got is my undersuit, as we did look at. Um, I've got a pistol. And uh, that's it. That's all we've got, guys. I'm going to have to collect some loot on the way to use. And then, hopefully... 
Hopefully in the bunker we will find a multi-tool, because if I don't find a multi-tool I'm going to really struggle to uh, fill that Mustang up. But what we might have to do is um, complete the mission, jump to the station, get a multi-tool, come back and, and loot it that way. Uh, but fingers crossed we'll actually find a multi-tool, because you can find multi-tools in the bunkers, you can find medical stuff, all sorts of gear, so it's a really handy thing to do. Okay, here we go. So it might have somebody else here, but it should be okay. Um, if they are in the bunker, I hope I've not just triggered a load of mobs on their head. Oh no, I've left my helmet at the uh, city. Quick, get inside, get inside. Oh, that's close. Right. Rookie mistake. Didn't want to mess my new fancy hair up. Look at that. Uh, don't know why Voip's not working again, but... Oh, it is working. Hello. <laughs> anyway, so you don't need to get a helmet while I'm down here. Shopping list is getting bigger. I say this is... If you don't know, this is a uh, loot box. Red ones are pretty good normally. So it's shotguns. Rifles. P4, one of my favourites. One of, the, I think it's the highest kills this year from uh, handheld weapons is from the P4, so a popular gun. Oh, look at that, we got some uh, arms, arm armour. I shouldn't have picked that arm up actually because uh, I need to loot someone's undersuit with all their gear on. Just check this for uh, multi tools and stuff. I don't think you can find the multi tools in these. So we'll get the mission done and then we'll uh, go back round and loot afterwards. Nice, that's what I was looking for. Some more, more rifle ammo. Oh, oh god, oh god. Wait, that's... Are you security? No, he's not. God, it's lucky. I thought he was security. I can't remember what colour the. If you say the security armour is now, I've just had a complete mind blank. Oh, is that me out of ammo? Or is the gun jammed? Where's this guy running? <laughs> What's going on? Whoa! What is going on here? Okay, so when I um, done this on the last series, I had to stop doing them because they were bugged, so they have been fixed now, which is nice. Well, seemingly, fingers crossed, this seem, seems alright right now. Whether or not we get problems on other missions, I don't know. Whoa! So there should be one more somewhere. Oh, he's at the top there. I just noticed the uh, marker. So the markers are working again, by the look of it. That's good. So when we... When we kill this last target, I think we've got 15 minutes. You don't have a massive amount of time, so I'm, I'm actually tempted to leave him up. Let me just go and see what um, armour we've got laying down here. I did see a heavy armour. All right, this this will be... Uh, where is he? Make sure he's not looking down at me. It is actually... There. Whether or not he's going to shoot me, I don't know. If I go here, we're out of line of sight. Drop them. Drop that. Boom, there we go. Right, cool. Um, ah, medical box. So I hope there's a medical device in here. There is, nice, right. Leave that stuff for now. I need to find one of the other boxes. So I could really do with a multi tool. Right, okay. So I'm going to shoot that guy, complete the mission, quickly fly to Seraphim, which is the station above Orison where I spawned, and get a multi-tool with the uh, earnings from this mission because obviously I had no money, I couldn't buy one anyway if I wanted to um, and then we're going to do another mission and uh, whoa! Here they are. Um, oh he's got my favourite armour, I like that armour but I'm going to stick with this for now 
Um, yeah, so we'll, then we'll get another mission. There you go, look, there's a timer come up 15 minutes before this all resets. I actually quite like this uh, armor set I'm wearing now. What's that? Arrow helmet with Orc MKX modified for the pirate look. I actually quite like that. It looks pretty cool. Um, right, so yeah. Now, I could carry these bodies back up to the ship. It's going to be much quicker for me to just go and get another mission, buy a multi-tool, and uh, you know we can we can try my little experiment out that way. I'll just check down there because I didn't check this area, did I? I don't think I did anyway. Sometimes you find them down here. Yeah, this is more medical boxes. Medical box up there. Yeah, just not... What was that? Oh my god, that is one. This is what we're looking for. So, in here there could be hacking chips, the like tiger's claw things, or um, hopefully a multi tool, or both. Yes! Oh, what a result. Okay. Ah, right, we ain't got a tractor beam attachment now, so not not everything we wanted, but uh, we'll take all this out there anyway. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to go to the, the station anyway. Yeah, we've got a multi-tool, we just want the tractor beam attachment, and that is it. 320, we have 16,500 before I bought that. So we made about a grand and a half Alpha UEC on top of the 15 grand for doing the last mission. So let's get another mission for a bunker and uh, go and fill up the Mustang and see what we get. Right, let's get this one done. So same again, although I'll try and stick to my uh, own rule of clearing the hostiles first and loot later, but I'll probably get distracted as normal. I will try and leave one alive so we don't get a timer up. Then, oh yes, we've got a guy. Oh, that's a player. Oh buddy. Sorry dude. Is it a player or is that a... to drop that to pick this up to put that on there we go and we did pick up an LMG so it should be okay for ammo to get this done oh what are you doing there dude still a bit janky aren't they the old uh, AI I got away with a couple of kills earlier I should have died really but the AI bugged out and now I've said that I'm probably going to get upset there's another one <laughs> What is going on? I never went with that. Yeah, I need to work on this. Is, you know, we've waited this long. We can uh, wait a bit longer for things to be a bit more polished, but I'd rather it was like this, though, than uh, the, the uh, AI stuck in the wall, because that is really frustrating, obviously. Drop stuff out of the box, and then all I'm just going to do carry it painfully down to the ship. Obviously, if it's on a body, I'll take the body and unload the body. Uh, if I had a bigger ship, I could get a. Oh no! He's right in my way. I might have to kill him and race the clock. I think. Um, yeah, if if we had a bigger ship, you can get a cargo box you can carry around with yourself now, and uh, could then load that up and then take stuff to the ship with that. Search these boxes for the valuable stuff. Ooh. Oh my god that sniper looks cool. A new one! I've never seen one like that, white and gold. That looks wicked. Uh, my backpack has disappeared. I don't know what's happened there. So I might just put that on. Right, okay, I don't even know if all this is going to fit in the uh, little Mustang, but there's a bit of a collection there. Not the best stuff in the world. I was hoping for a couple of rail guns or something, but I didn't find any. Did get this cool sniper rifle. I might actually hold on to this, not to use it, but I don't know if I've seen a white and gold one before. I think it might be a, like a rare skin or something, maybe. I might be talking out my backside there, but um, if you know, let me know in the comments below. But uh, I'm going to hold on to that, I'm going to ask around uh, with a screenshot and see what people say. And 
if it's worth something, I'll sell it to somebody in the verse and get some money that way. Because we got it if I sell it and then someone's like, oh, it's worth hundreds of thousands. Not that it would be, but you never know. Uh, that's just my luck. Right, let's um, look four and a half minutes to uh, load this up. So let's just see what happens. Hopefully, all will be well. What I'm going to do is put the body in there. Go in with it. Loot that. Vehicle. Boom. Done. Get the body out. Chuck it over there and rinse and repeat. Where's the sniper rifle when it's bugged out? Ah, oh, no. Alright, we've got to go. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no! Quick, 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 quick! Max shields! Go, 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 go! Oh, that was close. Think, think of that sniper rifle, it was bugging out and bouncing around. Just chucked a load of stuff in the back. I'm just going to land and uh, load it into the inventory so that it doesn't disappear. Right, so the guns seem to bug out in the back of the Mustang. So that sniper was bouncing around and going in and out of the floor. And there was an LMG and an assault rifle in there. And they've both disappeared uh, into the floor or something. But, um, okay. So there was room for a bit more, but let's just see what we get from this. I'm just interested. You know what? I'm going to do one more and uh, just just get this last bit of storage taken up. Oh, this sniper looks nice. Look at it in the light. Oh, boy. No, I was looking at my personal thing earlier, weren't I? What an idiot. I think what I'll do is I'll try and squish these in. <laughs> into the back of the Mustang if I can. And then we'll move out the area. And then loot them. Plus, <laughs> it'll be interesting to see all these squished in there and whether or not they stay there when I fly away. Now, I'm wondering whether this Mustang inventory is bugged because I've not played around with the cargo crates yet but I've seen so many people complaining that you can't get loads of stuff in them like saying you can only get I don't know four or five sets of armor in the small one for example I think I can't remember off the top of my head but anyway it's a, it's a small amount and this seems to be a ridiculous amount with 46% and I mean look at all the loot in there I don't know what it's worth it might be worth absolutely nothing but either way that's a lot of stuff in a very small ship so I am curious as to see whether that's um, a bug or not. I'll have to ask around. Or if you know, let me know in the comments below, obviously. But, yeah, it seems a bit strange. It seems like an awful lot of stuff. Right, we are only at 54%, so I am going to go and do another mission or two. And, um, you know, it's going to be the same again. So once the, the cargo rack is full, um, I will be back with you guys. Also, what a view that is. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> look at the state of it. They're all falling out. I hope they don't fall out. Seems okay.
Right, okay, we're back at Seraphim. Let's go and sell all this loot and see what we get. So I didn't get it quite full, it's like 92, 93% I think, because um, I've got a log off unfortunately otherwise I'd have done one more but um yeah I think we've done four missions we got 65 just over 65 grand would have been 65 and a half obviously taking off the cost for the uh, tractor beam attachment I bought earlier um so for four missions the call to arms that's what we've got uh 65 and a half k I think I earned and that's taken me about uh, an hour and a half uh I'm not the fastest looter in the world <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure people can do it quicker, but I don't think that's too bad. I mean, obviously, that's money per hour compared to what you get later on in the game is terrible, obviously. But, um, I mean, for what I was doing, I think that was all right. It felt all right. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, uh, I'm only coming off because um, I've got to get off the computer. Okay, let's see. My right, arms are 320. Is that heavy armor? Yeah, nine. Anything special? We say the security armor is actually worth less than the uh, pirate's heavy armor. That's weird. So that uh, sniper rifle is only worth 1.7. Thought it'd been worth more than that. It's unfortunate. I'm going to keep that because um, it looks pretty cool. I don't know if that is a, a rare skin on it. I'm going to have to look that up. Anyway, we've got 65 grand. Let's see what we get after we settle this. Well, I've sold everything else. I think I'm going to keep the ammo and the weapons because uh, I've only got a couple of weapons and the ammo is not really worth anything. And a lot of it's the P4 AR ammo, which is a gun I use a lot, and the uh, FS9 LMG, which is another gun I use a lot. So I'm going to keep all that stuff. Um, but yeah, we doubled our money. So there you go, 127,164 Alpha UEC for an hour and a half's work of looting, shooting and scooting and on top of that obviously I've got this cool set of uh, pirate armour which I actually quite like, I'm going to keep this on for now. I'm pretty chuffed with that. But yeah, great start to the new Zero to Hero series. Hope you enjoyed it guys, hope you found it helpful or a little bit amusing if nothing else. I will see you in the verse and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Cheers! <laughs>